Hi guys, my name is Sophie. We're here touring Adohi Hall today. Um, it is located just across from MLK, which is a very popular street with lots of restaurants, like the new Torchies that just came out. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. So tacos from tacos. where's you know where Torchies is it's from? Based in Texas. Okay. One of my cool. Texas friends have been talking about it. Yeah. And I'm um, located right next to Pomfret Hall as well, which is where students at Adohi will be eating, mm -hmm. and that has a new late night venue called Pig Theory, which is a barbecue restaurant. And uh, Adobe Hall also has a couple bus stops outside of it that can take you up the hill sure. um, if you don't want to walk. <laughs> yeah, because it is a bit of a hill, but taking the bus is really easy to do. Do you, um, did you live on campus? Yes, I lived on campus my freshman year. Um, the other side of campus, I lived in Hobbs Hall, but I did spend a lot of time down here because I had a couple friends in Pomfret. Oh, at Pomfret, sure, yeah. yeah, yeah. And Pomfret's a big community as well. Uh, we're kind of on the south, in the south neighborhood of the University of Arkansas yeah. right now. Um, yeah, so uh, let me give you everybody a kind of a 360 of uh, where we are now. We're in a space that has big risers, and just so you're aware, we're um, on Friday is the day when University Housing kind of takes over the place, so there's still a little construction happening. We got quite a few people tuning in. We're glad to have you. Let us know where you're from. We're curious. Oh yeah, real big space here. Cool, so what do you study? I study journalism with a focus in advertising. Okay, excellent, excellent. Well, um, let's head inside and take a little tour of Adohi Hall. Sounds good. And let's meet, let's meet our CRE over here. Well, hello there. Hello, how are good you morning. Guys doing? Yeah. You mind introducing yourself? Yeah, not at all. Uh, so my name is Paul Ludolf. I'll be the coordinator for this building. Um, so if any of the residents who live here have any issues or need anything taken care of, I'll be your primary contact. Um, I handle the move in and move out process for the building, um, help with any maintenance concerns, uh, cleaning issues, things like that. So I'm just here to help run the facility. Nice, nice. So CREs are in every hall. And you guys yeah. usually are like master's level. Um... Yeah, everyone on our staff has a master's degree. Yeah, very cool. Emily's tuning in from San Antonio, and she is very excited to awesome. uh, come here. Yeah, we're looking forward to having her. And uh, Jean from Springfield, Missouri is tuning in. Springfield, great. Yeah, yeah. So this is going to be your... Now, you work with uh, RAs, right? You. Can yeah. you kind of explain the relationship between CREs and RAs and how that works? Sure. So I'm their direct supervisor. Um, they do, like, weekly uh, check, uh, check bases with me, um, where they just let me go know what's going on in their hall, um, whether any students are having any issues they need me to help them take care of. Uh, we help run them run their programs for the building, uh, which can be a variety of different things, but that's kind of what we do with the uh, RA staff. Very cool. And Michelle's from Willowbrook. Don is watching from New Jersey. What's up up there? A long ways. And Stephanie from Maumelle. So glad to have you call out where you're from. Yeah. Um, let's continue to tour the building. We're in we're in B right now, and there's yep. three buildings here. Do you Can you describe that? Do you, sure. do you have a good sense so of it? This is B building, as you said. Uh, this is where the makerspace will be located, which you'll learn a little bit more about. Uh, in a moment um, and like our practice rooms for uh, music uh, the recording studio different things like that are all in B building um, B is kind of a uh, half of an H shape uh, it kind of goes like this mm -hmm. uh, where A building is an L shape and then they're connected by what's called the cabin uh, in the cabin we'll have two kitchens um, lots of TVs and pool tables and things like that it's just kind of a hangout space that connects the two facilities yeah sure it's a really nice community space um, Terry from Little Rock, Lisa from Austin, Becky from Waco, and Rochelle from St. Louis. Yeah. Got a lot of people tuning in. Very yeah. curious about Adohi Hall. Sure. Cool. Well, let's, uh, let's, you mentioned the uh, community, the creative community space. Sure. So let's go ahead and learn a little bit more about that. Let's do it. Hello. How are y'all doing? Hello. Good morning. Good to see you. Yeah. Could you mind introducing yourselves? Sure. I'm Dr. Stephanie Adams. I'm the Associate Director in University Housing for the Res Ed side. And this is... Hi, I'm Mary Peacock, and I am the uh, Creative Community Coordinator. Fantastic. So what will y'all be doing when it comes to this building? Well, um, I am kind of coordinating some of the academic initiatives mm -hmm. that will take place in the space. 
Um, the creative community, which is behind us, um, unfortunately, we're unable to show you it all right now because they're still working on it, mm -hmm. but we promise it will be ready when you get here. Late nights working on it, getting uh, it ready. <laughs> yes, um, but our faculty in residence, who is Brian Holland, he is an architect. He will be living here in the building, and he will be helping myself and Mary coordinate a lot of the academic initiatives that will take place. We also have five living learning communities that will be based out of this space. So we have art, architecture, design, entrepreneurship, innovation, um, music, and theater. So there will be students that are majoring in those fields mm -hmm. that will participate in some of the um, programming that will take place. But also we're gonna have some public events where we're gonna be partnering with other academic units. And so it will be open to everyone that lives in Adobe Hall. So even if you're not participating in a living learning community, you will get an opportunity to um, get involved. Nice, but those communities, LLCs, they all live together in the same space? Yes, they will all be on the B side um, of the building that Cole just explained to you. And we have about 60 participants. Nice, very nice. And some really cool areas of academic endeavor. Uh, Kimberly from Kennett and Aline from uh, Springfield. Tommy from South Lake. Kim, all the way from College Avenue in Fayetteville. All right. <laughs> Long distance there. Dana from Arkadelphia. Trey Don from Pine Bluff. Kathy from the Woodlands. Sandara from Greenbrier, John from McKinney, and Nancy is so excited, and uh, New York as well. So we got a lot of people tuning in. We got 102 people watching us oh, right now. Awesome. Can you tell us a little bit about this creative community and the facilities that are going to be offered? Absolutely. So we're going to be offering workshops and lectures in these areas. We have a performance area, a movement studio. You can practice here. Um, we also have a recording studio, uh, seven different practice rooms. Actually, two of them have uh, devices inside them where you can turn it into a concert hall and feel like you're performing what? in front of a concert area. That's cool. Yeah. Um, we'll have 3D printers, um, laser cutter, sewing machines, a painting area. There's so much more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So um, is that, if you live in Adohi, you can pretty much use that space? Yes. Okay. As long as you're trained. <laughs> as long as you're trained. Okay, yes, so yeah, that, that trained, caveat. Definitely, but training should be easy. Um, we're working with Hogsync right now so that you can sign up for training and um, to reserving the space also in case you want to do a workshop. That's super exciting. Yeah. It's new for us here in housing. We've never had a space quite like this, so we're super thrilled. Um, awesome. Yeah, yeah. So you'll be seeing Mary's face a lot if you're in those yes. spaces. Yes. <laughs> So um, let's, I guess, head upstairs and look at one of the residential spaces as well. Do y'all want to come along and join us? Sure. Okay, fine. great. All right. Let's go up to uh, some of the residential spaces and show them. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask them. Um, we're happy to answer them as best we can. As I said, we're wearing hard hats because, and vests, just to be stylish. No, because we um, are taking custody of the building on, fr on Friday. So... Uh, is B the north building? B is, I believe, the south building. So that is the south building. We're heading up the stairs. Now there will be an elevator to take you up the many floors whenever this is active. Um, Justin asks, is there recital space? And there is performance yes, space. There is performance yes. space. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, we're just leaving that performance area. Yeah, we have okay. indoor and outdoor uh, performance spaces. Great, indoor and outdoor performance spaces. Mm -hmm. Excellent, so we're up on the floor and I think we're gonna dip into the kitchen yeah. area right over here. Yeah. Kristen asks, will everything be completely done by move-in time? The interior of the building will be done, yes. The exterior with the landscaping is something that has to grow in over time. Yep. So here's a, the kitchen space that's coming wow. together. So we've got a sink and a uh, pretty good little oven area. Is there anything back there? Oh, it's storage. Okay. All right. Um, we've got a couple other questions coming in. Emily asks, did you say that B is the living learning space? Yeah. Yes. All the LLCs will be in this building. Uh, Lisa asks, my son is on B622. Any way to see that part of the building? Lisa, what we're going to do is we're going to look at an example of a semi-suite building, a semi-suite room, and also look at an example of a pod room. And um, depending on whether your son has a pod or a semi-suite, 
It'll be exactly like yeah, that. Exactly identical to what we'll be showing. Terry asks where we are right now. We are on the third floor, third floor, floor of B. Building B. Floor kitchen. Here we go. Leanne says her daughter's moving in on the 16th. It will be ready, right? It will be ready. It will be ready. <laughs> will there be fast internet? Now we are going to go look at a semi suite over here. Yeah, the internet will be blazing fast. Um, we have the fastest internet speeds that Cox provides. Yeah. Um, so if you think Cox's fastest internet speeds are fast, then yes. Yeah. I see. They're doing some taste testing, I think. Yeah, testing our fire, uh, our fire test system. Testing our fire system. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go into one of the uh, pods. If you're in room 350, this is you. This is actually a suite room. Okay, I'm sorry, a suite. A Thank suite you. Room? Yeah. Semi suite. Semi suite, yes. So, yeah, fast internet. Uh, will we say A rooms as well? Michelle asks. And uh, I can get you somewhere here. Um, Michelle, the rooms in A will look very much like the rooms in B. Um, Stephanie asks, how do we know if it's a semi-suite or a pod room just by looking at the room number? I would say that your best bet is to um, contact our assignments office um, by either housing at uark.edu or calling us, and you can visit our website and see the number, and they can tell you exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kimberly asks how much space between the beds as they sit right now can we uh you mind helping us out with a measurement or two we did bring a handy dandy uh measurer uh -huh. and uh it, will, the, will the digital work or should we use the analog, use the analog for this. okay we have analog and digital both in between from frame to frame we're at about 57 inches Okay, okay. 57 inches from the inside of that frame right there. Okay. Um, Dana asks, will we be able to view the room at orientation on the 13th? I am not sure. I'm thinking that we do an abbreviated tour, not specifically of these rooms. Mm -hmm. um, are there any, Rose asks, are there any pianos provided for use? Yeah. We will have actually two pianos. There's going to be a grand piano in um, the area where there's a performance. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's also going to be another smaller piano in one of the practice rooms. Um, Kim asked, do the beds loft higher? And yes, they yes, do. They do. Typically in about three inch increments, it can go very, very tall. Yep. Um, and uh, do all, uh, Alain asks, do all the rooms have locking drawers for laptops and stuff like that? And I think most of them do. Let's see if this one has... A locking mechanism. Um, I don't think so. Okay. So in this case, in this case, we're not seeing one of the locking mechanisms. Could be something that's installed later. Let's see. I don't believe so. Okay. Okay. Good to know. And then these are the closets. Sure. Um, got some more questions coming in. EA asks, what is the height of closet door for curtain purposes? So. Not a typical closet, if you want to show them that. Yeah, you do use a tension rod, most likely. In fact, let me give them a nice little 360 on this. There's Bud Walton right there. Okay, so now let's go into the closet and answer that question. 36 inches wide. 36 inches wide. From the top of the shelf to the floor is 64. Okay, 64 there. Um, Angela asks, are all the rooms off centered in reference to the window? Not centered in reference to the window. I think that window is pretty centered on the beds. I might be misunderstanding, but I think. Um, no, I think it depends on where the room is located in the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see that this side's a little wider than this side. Just based sure. On the bed frame. Um, I see what they mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Kimberly asks, are the beds lofted by inches? Yes. Um, wow, that thing keeps on going, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> testing that fire drill. Testing that fire drill, making it safe. Um, are the beds lofted by inches? Are they self-loftable? Um, I think you could probably get by with a rubber mallet on this. Oh yeah, um, they're pretty easy to loft. 
generally these type of frames, when you have issues with them, is when they're really old. Mm -hmm. um, these are all brand new, so they just lock relatively easy. Sure. Uh, Jenna asked, can we see the closet space? And I think we did take a pretty good look at the closet space. Rose is excited. I'm excited that you're coming, Rose. Michelle, so how far should the bed be lifted for drawers to go underneath the beds? I think, you know, the drawers, do you mind using the, the digital give you real quick? Uh, yeah, so just hang the digital over the side and pop the button. <laughs> so it's got this little mechanism right here. You can just put it right there and then push the button. It'll tell you. And you just uh, put it right here and then push the button and it'll tell you exactly how tall it is. Yeah, there you go. And then push it again. Great, what's the readout? Uh, two feet, seven inches. Okay, so you want to bring it up at least to two feet, seven inches to put drawers underneath the beds. Three yeah. feet. Uh, yeah. Lisa asked if the bed was lifted to the highest possible, what is the height underneath? And I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you information about lofting after this particular presentation. That'll be best because then you'll have all the numbers for you. Susie asked how much space is there from the bottom of the sink to the shelf underneath? We can get that for Susie. Mm -hmm, to the shelf underneath. So there's, you can see, yeah, how there's, there's that right there. There is about two feet, five inches. Two feet, five inches. Okay, and that's the space between here and here. Is that the space between those two? No, I think that was there to the floor. Oh, okay. Can you get the other one, the other sure. dimension there? Thank you. That is one foot. One foot, exactly. There you go, Susie. Um, Michaela asked for the desk measurements. And here's our desk. Now see that there is a uh, kind of a dresser next to it or a series of drawers. Can you get just the desk? 32 inches across. 32 inches across, okay. I don't know what it is to the floor. If you could just hang that over the edge right there and get that. Um, going downward. Oh. Thank you. Love these questions. That is two feet, six inches. Two feet, six inches right there, Michaela. Um, Michelle asked, can we use command strips? Yes, you can. Just use them as they're directed, as, as they're supposed to be used. Uh, because you can peel off paint, and if so, we unfortunately have to charge you. So be aware of that. Michelle asked, what size carpets will fit between the beds? Could you give me a, um, from the outside of that, to the, put the red dot against that? Thank you. Four feet, six inches. Four feet, six inches between the two frames there. Kimberly asked the dimensions of the living area minus the bath and sink area. So I think we're talking about really just this square right here. If we can get that. So, yeah, here I'll move. Uh -huh. Four walls. And that is 11 feet exactly. 11 feet in this dimension. Okay. And then the other one. Yeah, I'll go from this side. That's smart, yeah. And that is almost 13 feet. Almost, what's that? Just under 13 feet. Just under 13 feet, okay. Um, Christine asked, what is the length of the desktop? And I think we just got the length of the desktop. I think it was 32, but I can do it again really quick. Yep, 32. Uh, Rochelle would like to see the uh, drawers. Um, if you could open up the drawers for her. Okay, there's one of the drawers. Yep. And then over here, we've got some more drawers. You and your roommate will both have a set of drawers. Oh, that was a little pushed against the bed. Okay, got it. And there's three of those. Um, John asks, what can they use to hang items on the wall? Uh, command strips is probably your best thing. Blue painter tape is really fantastic too. That works a lot. Um, any recommendations on what to hang? How to hang? Handbooks are by far the best. Um, and then, yeah, just like you said, blue painter tape. Kind of that we use. Kathy asks, is there a chest of drawers and an end table? And uh, I mean, I guess that could be kind of an end table. There's definitely a chest of drawers. That's that right there. Is the chest of drawers. Okay. The width and depth of the desk. So I think we got the width earlier. Attention. Any emergency has been reported in this 
24 inches that way. 24 inches that way. Okay. Taylor asked how big is the desk. I think we've got everything but maybe the height. Did we get the height? We got the height? Okay, thank you. Uh, Tradon, uh, Tra Tradon asks, is the dorm open even during breaks? Is this an academic year hall? Yes. So it's open, yeah, open during the breaks as well. Um, Kimberly asks, are there outlets near the beds? And there are some outlets there. Does anybody see where all the outlets are? Oh yeah, there's a four right right down here. Yeah, I can't show you very well, but there's four outlets right there. Yes, behind the desks. Behind the desks, yeah. Uh, Courtney is from yeah, from the architects that we're working with. Hey, good to be good to have you here, having a viewing party. We love that. A line asks, is there any storage space under the sink for cleaning supplies, and can we see it up close to the shower? Of course you can. Let me give you a little bit better view of the sink. We really love how these rooms have come together. We think they're very beautiful. Um, and then you've got, oh, it's just going to give them the sink too. Yeah, you got a big window or big mirror right there. And then let's go into the shower. Excuse me. So, you know, very typical bathroom. You got plenty of space on either side to kind of decorate. And then here is the shower. Will students need to bring their own shower curtain? Um, typically we do supply a shower curtain, so I think that's probably the case here as well. But that's a great question to ask. Um, Jerry asked, do they each get a separate closet? And what they do get is one, one, one roommate gets this side, one roommate gets this side. What are the window measurements, asks Kim. Thank you. Four feet, ten inches wide, and the height you innovation five feet ten inches five feet ten inches tall great um, Rochelle asks how wide is the wall space behind the beds um, I think she's maybe thinking of a headboard maybe or something like that so I think your I think your digital may get you there quicker but because it's from this edge right here to there you got it. You got it worked out. Do it however you. I'm sure. Where, I'm not sure where you want. Okay. Yeah. So from right here mm -hmm. to the end, right there. Oh, just to the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three feet four inches. Three feet Two feet, nine inches. Uh, Lauren is moving in for rock camp. Yay, rock camp. Will they be ready then? Yes, they will be. Hey, Courtney. Good to have you from Lears, Wines Apple Associates. Uh, Caitlin, what is the height of the window for curtain purposes? I think we covered that. Angela asks, how wide is the window and is there space for a tension rod? There is... I would say, you know, you might be able to fit a tension rod in there, but it's pretty close. And what we've heard from other students who've helped us with the tours is that these things are pretty, they black you out pretty well. Did you put a tension rod up in your room? I did not, but it still gets pretty dark when you're sleeping. When the blinds are pulled? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Lin Linny asks, what are the measurements of the window for curtain purposes? We just kind of talked about that. Can we get a better view of the drawer and dressers? You bet, Kristen. Are students allowed to rearrange these if they would like? This is all movable furniture, so they can move it however they wish. We just ask that they don't take anything out of the, out of the room itself. Um, are there drawers in the desk? 
Yes, there are, Terry. Um, Katie asked to see the bathroom. We just looked at the bathroom. And uh, Debbie's helping us out. She's a staff member. Yay. Okay. Rochelle asked, how many inches from the floor to shelf in the bathroom? We'll go ahead and get that for them. And keep in mind, we're in a um, semi-suite right now. We're going to also tour a uh, pod style. The floor to the shelf? Uh-huh. We're looking, yes, at the from the floor to the shelf in the bathroom. Uh, yeah, I think so. Two feet, nine inches. Can you do the upper bar as well, please? That one is five feet, one inch. Five feet, one inch. Great. Michelle asks, are there ice machines on each floor? Cole, do you know if there are ice machines on each floor? Uh, not on each floor. Okay. Um, only on the floors that are going to have kitchens in them. Which is like every other floor, yeah, correct? Every other floor. Yep. yep. So every two floors. Um... When you ask, well, what that between the bed, it's really just the uh, dresser and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Do we control the temperature in the room, is asked. I try to think. We have probably a thermostat, right? Right here. Yeah. I was trying to find where it was at, but you do. So it's not going to be like at home where you can just change it and go whatever temperature you want, but you do have some degree of of control over what of your what, what the temperature is you want. Usually ranges between 68 and 75 degrees. 68 and 75, okay. How tall are the ceilings? Do you mind giving me a floor sure. to roof measurement? And that is 10 feet, nine inches. 10 feet, nine inches, tall, tall ceilings. Um, Mike asks, can we please see the shower and the suite? I think we looked at that, but I'll go in there one more time, give a little more detail. You have a space, a recess in there for your soap. Um, how much space between the end of the bed and the wall? Taylor asks. And that is five feet, eight inches. Five feet, eight inches, Taylor. Connor asked, where do we put a TV? Where is the hookup and what size should we bring? The hookup is right there and it's HDMI in or out. So you can just bring a TV, set it up anywhere you'd like and you'll have a digital cable, including HBO. Uh, Kim asks, could we get a measurement of the space between the bed and the drawer? Is there enough room for the mini for their mini fridge? And um, between the bed and the drawer, let's see. Which drawer? I think we've got a drawer here, so no, it wouldn't be there. And here, there would not be, there would not be enough space there. Generally, people put them underneath their beds um, or rearrange their furniture. Makes extra space for them. Mm -hmm. uh, like we said earlier, this is not how you have to keep your furniture. You can re like move it, rearrange it, de-loft or loft your bed any way you'd like. Um, sure. Make the space fit for you. Kimberly asks, can we see the outlets by the sink? And so let's, we'll do that. Okay. Where do you put a fridge? Asked Michelle. We would say the best place is probably underneath your um, underneath your um, bed, or you could always put it here in the closet down at the floor. I mean, you got a nice little cubby right there. Um, Dana asks, how deep is the desk? I think we got that measurement. Uh, Francesca asks, lofting a bed allows room for a mini fridge, correct? Yes, lofting a bed would give you room for a mini fridge. Um, Mike asks, have you given measurements for the drawers? And can you give me a measurement inside um, the drawers? And that is one foot eight inches. Okay, can you give me the other dimension as well? So one foot eight by? Two feet. By two feet, there you go, Mike. Um, Jerry asks, can you please measure the inside space between the bed posts? So, yeah, there you go. Two feet nine inches. Two feet nine inches. 
Thank you, Sophie. You're getting all these so great. Um, my height for three drawers. So the height, can you give me the height too, which would be the up-down dimension? Yeah, of all three? I think, yeah, please. And that is 2 feet 8 inches. 2 feet 8 inches. Okay. Do the chairs convert to rockers? They do. They do convert to rockers. Do you know about that trick? I do not. Do you know about that trick, Cole? I did not know that, no. Okay, you're going to do this right now. We're all going to learn together as a, as a family here. Right. Can you pull it out and reach behind? And there's a little bit of a catch there that you can, you can uh, trigger. Yeah? Which part? You feel it? Here, I got it. So back here, there is a... Yep, yeah, right there. Can you pull it up? Okay. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so it becomes a rocker like that, and then you got that little side table right there too. Okay, John asks bathroom space, and I think we've taken a look at that. Angela, what is the width of the window? I think we got that got earlier. That, yeah. Okay. Um, how tall is the bed when lofted? I'm going to get all those lofting um, um, sizes for you after the show. Dana asks, can we go into the shower area? We've gone into the shower area. Uh, Tracy asks to see the bathroom. Sure, we looked at the bathroom. Gentry asks, will a headboard fit with a wooden piece on one of the walls? Um, I mean, you could do a headboard there. You don't have a lot of space between the wall and the and that. Do you want to? Do you think you can give them that dimension? Sure. Uh, in between the two. Well, it's actually against the wall. Like how much space there is between the wall and here. I'll show you if there's a tape measure. You got a tape measure? I do. Yeah, Cole, do you mind getting uh, just the amount of space uh, from the wall to here? So it's really this space right here. Uh, the, other, the other way. Here, I'll show you. Yeah, no, that's cool. Here, I got it. Right there. That's about two inches, a little less than two inches. Okay, so let's see. Jennifer asks, yep, put the uh, desk with the small drawer and table. Great. How much space on each side of the sink drain for a storage basket? Go back to the sink. 16 inches. 16 inches right there. Thank you, Cole. Mm -hmm. um, James, are there electric outlets anywhere else in the room besides the four under the window? And there are four more in this area. There's one on the wall. And there's right one here. more on the wall. Right here. There's four. Yeah. So. And then one down where your table box is at. Oh gosh. So there's plenty, 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 plenty. That's all on this floor. How deep are the open shelves on either side of the distinct? Um, actually, you have four outlets on both of these walls as well, Christopher. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. How so, deep are these? How deep are those? Yeah. That is 11 inches. Okay. Can you give them the depth, which would be that dimension right there? Sure. Do you want to use the analog tape measure? That's probably best for that one. And that is about three and a half inches. Three and a half inches of that built in. Thanks, Susie. Uh, Kimberly asks, can they bring small microwave? Um, yeah, you can. I think is it one per room or yep. can they have one per room? Yep. So you and your roommate should get together and figure out who's going to bring one, bring that. Lisa, ba Lisa asks, are curtains allowed in the window? Mm -hmm. They're allowed, sure. I just don't think you have a lot of space there for a tension rod. Mm -hmm. uh, Lindsay asks, how to hang curtains on the window when there's not a rod there. Um, I mean, you'd have to kind of figure out a way to put a tension rod there. The blinds are there and they are very effective. Yes. Um, so don't feel like you're going to get sunned out, you know, in the morning if, if, they, if you don't have a, a curtain there. Does that window open? It does. It does open. The window does open. Okay. EA asks, what is the height of the closet? Did we give the entire height ever? I don't think so. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the entire height. Thanks. 
That is seven feet, 11 inches. Seven feet, 11 inches, okay. Um, John, as we rented the microfiche, where will they put that? Um, probably it'll be, when it arrives, will it be like in the center of the room? I mean, they won't choose where you... Yeah, we'll have a pickup location for it. Um, it's to be determined at this point. Okay, yeah. Um, Connor asked, what is the size of the shower curtain? Um, you might give them the dimension in there so they can figure out what kind of tension ride to get. And across it is three feet, one inch. Three feet, one inch, uh-huh. And up and down. If you don't mind. Is seven feet nine inches. Seven feet nine inches, okay. Um, is there a place to hang a TV? There is not a place to hang a TV. Uh, Lori, Laura asks, how much space is under the bed? That really depends on where you loft it. Mm -hmm. uh, Dana asks, can you give me a measurement on the left side of the toilet? Maybe a cabinet there. So, wants to know if she were to use the left side of the toilet to put a cabinet, which is, I guess, this side. So, I guess from the edge of the bowl okay. to the wall, please. Two feet exactly. Two feet exactly. Okay. Gentry asks, I'm hanging curtains with a command hook to hold the rod. Thanks for chiming in with your suggestions. That's helpful. Uh, Kimberly asks, can beds be raised? Yes, they can absolutely be lofted. We're past the date where we will loft them for you, but you are certainly welcome to come. And you can submit a ticket. Just know that it won't happen before you move in. You would submit that at housing.uark.edu forward slash fix it. Um, is the headboard that is there able to be removed, asked Rochelle? No, it is not. Uh, Susie asks, what is the wall space on each side of the walkthrough door to the bathroom? What is the wall space on each side of the walkthrough door to the bathroom? Let's see. I'm not totally following that particular like, question. Maybe here to the wall? Yeah, maybe so. Space. Yeah, if you can close that door, maybe we can see. I think these spaces? Yeah. Sure. Um, that is eight and a half inches. Mm -hmm. Joni, yep, go ahead. Two inches. Two inches right there, okay. Mm -hmm. Joni asks, if desk plus drawers are up against the bed frame, how much available space is left between the desk and the closet wall? Um, really, that's probably best determined once you get here as you kind of move pieces around and figure that one out. Um, Jennifer asks, what is the length from the ceiling to the flooring front of window? And I think we gave the measurement of the, oh, there is that, 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 that oh, yes. piece right there. Do you mind giving them a measurement sure. that keeps into account? You may have not noticed that before, but there is a wooden piece part of our cross laminated timber style. It might be a little. Yeah, can you hit it there? Maybe, maybe a little bit off because we're hitting it at a slight yeah. diagonal. Uh, about nine feet, three inches. Okay, so yeah, you lose about a foot. Yeah. Um, what is the floor made of? This particular floor is, gosh, I don't know offhand. It feels, what would you say texture wise? Is it more carpety or more? Um, not really carpet, a little bit hard. It looks a little bit like carpet. Yeah, yeah. And then Jessica asked, what if, the, what if we don't want the chairs? The chairs come with the room, so they will be part of, um, of when you check in. Um, Kimberly asked, height from the closet shelf to the ceiling. Have we given this particular dimension yet? Okay. And that is two feet, seven inches. Okay. Okay, let's see what else here. Um, Anne asks, can we get a better view of the bathroom? And we'll go, we'll go through one more time. And Julie asks, can beds be lofted? Absolutely, they can be. We recommend you use a rubber mallet. But let me give you just a nice, I'm gonna close the door and give you a nice 360 of the bathroom here. There's two bars, one upper bar, one lower bar. Okay, hopefully that helps a lot. Okay, let's see what else we have here. What is the width of the back wall? Um, maybe they're talking about uh, this wall right here. Okay. Do you mind giving that to me? And that 
is six feet two inches. Okay. Connor asks, show us where the TV goes. And again, you can put the TV wherever you want. Um, what is the size of the shower curtain? I think we, we did do the shower curtain, correct? I think so. Okay, Jennifer asks, are the matches twin XL and are they new? They are new and I believe they're 80 length. Mm -hmm. I can't recall, they're, they're twin XL, I do believe. Um, what is the height of the closet from ceiling to floor? I think we got that. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait, he measured from shelf to floor before, but what, did it, what is it from ceiling to floor, the height of the closet from ceiling to floor? Did we get that one? Yes. I think we did, okay. It's in there. Yep, and then Liz asked, what floors the kitchen's on? It's every other floor, we were on three, so I guess it's like three, maybe, not five, six. I can't, I'm not entirely sure, but we'll come back and answer that in the, in the show notes. Um, Amber asked, can you tell us which, yeah. Rochelle asked, what are the inches from the shelf under the sink to the floor? And I think we got that one. I think so too. Um, where is the closest dining hall, Joni? It is at? Pomfret. Pomfret Hall. Um, are the kitchens on the odd floors or the even? I don't recall right offhand, but we will come back with the answer to that. Laura Lane, Laura asks, how many drawers in a dresser? It looks like there are three in the dresser right there. Yeah. And then there's one right here as well. Okay. What is the best product to use in the halls for, for hanging? What is recommended? Command strips and painter's tape are the best. What tool do we need to loft beds, asked Paul. Um, a rubber mallet will get you there. Okay. All right, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and head up to the other room. We've got some questions coming in, but we'll do that. Okay, let's head on up to the other floor. All right. We're heading up to the fifth floor where we're gonna look at a pod style room. And up the stairs. Now elevators will be working very soon. So you won't have to climb these stairs. Although man, it's not bad cardio, right? <laughs> Okay, let's show um, the common lounge first and the bathrooms that the pod we use. It's this way? Yeah. All oh yeah, no worries. We're pretty new in this building ourselves. It's kind of down, we'll use the bathroom first, the women's bathroom. All right, so. Here we are in one of the women's bathrooms. The men's are gonna look just the same, but let me give you a sense of what this is like. That's an ADA right there. And then, let's see, can we look in this one? Yeah, so come in and it goes pretty much uh, floor length almost, yeah. Just about three inches above. Okay. And uh, are there showers in here? There are two showers. Okay. Do you mind pulling that curtain? Sure. Thank you very much. Great. Go ahead in. You pull that curtain aside. Okay, so new bathroom right there. Shower. And you got a nice little changing area in front too yes. as well. Okay. Great. We'll head out to one of the study rooms. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at one of the lounges. Is this a lounge? I think it is. Nice. This is a lounge, nice study area. Mm -hmm. And every grouping of pods has one of those, it looks like. Mm -hmm. All right, let me just get this reset. Okay, we're back. Mm -hmm. Going. Okay. All right. Let's, yeah, let's look at a room. Mm -hmm. Great, thanks. So now we're in a pod room. Here we are. 
I'm gonna give them a nice view and then I'm gonna start taking questions again. Start answering questions again. I'm gonna show them that closet area, which is very similar to the one. Really, the only difference here, it seems like, is the fact that there isn't a bathroom inside the room. Well, they've got this little extra shelving right there. Yeah, that's nice. Kind of nice to have that. Okay. All right, well, let's take some more questions, and then we'll sign off here in a little bit. Sounds good. Okay. Um, James asked, does the desk itself have drawers? And yes, it does. And then we got... Can you hang a shower caddy from the shower head? I would say yes. In the room downstairs, certainly you can do that. Um, Danielle asked, can you show the wood feature above the window, please? This one has the same. And there it is right there. There's the wood feature. And that is CLT, cross laminated timber. Um, it's very strong and it's wooden and it's sustainable. What size TV? Really, uh, Connor, that is your choice as to what you feel like you can fit in here. You have a thoughts on, a, on the appropriate size for a room like this? Um, so I did not have a TV my freshman year, but my roommate did. And she had a, a pretty small one. Um, I'm not sure the exact dimensions on it, but, but one of the more smaller ones you can buy. And I say that's pretty good. A lot of people get by by just watching Netflix on their laptop as well. If you don't wanna <laughs> That's the screen here. that most people use? Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Susie is how far from the, from the floor to that beam? Will it interfere with lifting? I would say no. It, it what it took off one foot roughly yeah, from the. Yeah, it was about nine inches or mm -hmm. nine feet. Nine feet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Matt asks, how tall is the Bevan lofted? Again, I'll come back to you with the lofting uh, exact dimension, so you can know at each increment what it'll be at. Okay, Ariana, what's the width of the back wall? And I think we've given the width of the back wall. Um. Kenzie asks, what is the space between the two bed frames? Do you mind measuring it and seeing if it's different here? We'd want to go, yeah, to the bed frame. That is exactly five feet. Okay, exactly five feet in this configuration. What is the space between, yeah, we got that. What kind of tools should we bring to loft the beds? Jennifer, best thing to bring is a rubber mallet. Christine, what is the height difference between the desk and the desk drawer units? Okay, between the desk and the desk drawer units. So they're um, the same height, right? Yeah, they're about the same height right there. Or they ask which I think these are the same height as well. These yeah, I believe so, I believe so. Okay. Uh, Chris asks, what's the depth of the sink? Sorry, did we, we didn't get that. We'll get that for you after the show. Um, yep, yeah. and then... Joni asks, width between the beds of buying one piece of furniture where the two dressers are now. So, um, there's two pieces of furniture here. Can you give me from there to the wall? Sure. Thank you. That is three feet, 11 inches. Okay. Can the drawer be locked? Christine, right now we're not seeing a drawer that's lockable. Um, Angie asks, what is the space above and around the toilet for a standing shelf? We'll try to get that for you a little bit later. Can you have a microwave? Yes, you can. Are there outlets under the bed? If the mini fridge is placed there, where are the outlets in this particular room? Um, I imagine, so there's four right there. Okay, you got four the right there. And then the other room they were behind there. Okay. Yep, four back there. Okay, so you've got at least eight. At least eight. And Christopher, someone yeah. had asked earlier about the flooring. It's mm -hmm. called LTV vinyl flooring. Okay, LTV. LTV vinyl, vinyl flooring. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you for that. Um, Michelle said, "Are the washers? Uh, where are the washers located? Do you happen to know that? Cole, do you happen to know where the washers are located? Yeah, they're on the first floor of both buildings. Okay, so just like big washrooms. A and B both have mm -hmm. a big bed, a big bank of washers on the first floor." Okay, can we use pods in the in the washer? Yeah, absolutely. We recommend it. That's our preferred method. Um, 
let's see with uh yeah and then how tall are the head and footboards can we go ahead and give them it's the same thing just get it sure. off of one of them like uh from the from right here That is five feet. Okay. Kim, um, at this point, you do not need to request the beds to be lofted prior to moving. You can bring a rubber mallet and do that. Okay, what a minute the shelves next to the mirror. I think we got that. Um, okay. Ceilings in the bedroom area is 14 feet. Said ten nine. I need to. Um, we'll, we'll follow up with that. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to go through these questions as best I can. Uh, Jennifer, asked, what's the distance from the window wall to the beam? The window wall to the beam. Oh yeah. Um, so uh, there's a space between that beam and the wall. Can you get that space by any chance? I don't. I think the best you can do. If I stood on this, you don't need to. I think the best you can do is hold your hand as, as best you can parallel to that beam right there, okay. and then shine the red light into it, and that'll give you some reference. Like well, what I mean is, um, let's see. Actually, if you were to put it up against this wall, put that up against the wall, then use your hand to kind of get as close to oh, okay. as a guide. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Yeah, sure. That's what I'm Okay, we'll say roughly a foot. Roughly a foot. Okay, great, great. Um, okay, shower curtain included. Uh, we think so, yeah. You, uh, yes. And can we see a pod room? We're looking at that right now. Kind of get down here. Floors are, Lauren asked if the floor's co-ed. Um, uh, yes, they. Oh no, no, no. Um, not every floor, um, but most of the halls are, or most of the floors are. Okay, okay. Um, when will Pomfret Dining be open? It should be in the next week or so. Uh, Liz asked, "Is there a washing machine on every floor?" We said every other floor. Um, how many floors are there? Do you happen to remember off the hand B and C? Uh, so um, B building has six or. Er, Four residential floors. Total, okay. it has seven, including a basement. Um, a building has also six residential, or five residential floors, and then one, like, main floor. Okay. Where the front okay. desk okay. is located. Um, where are the printers located? We don't have printers necessarily in this hall. Yeah. Do you know if in our creative space we have any printers? 3D kinds. Yeah. 3D printers. Yeah, we don't have any printers. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, but Pomfret, I believe, in its renovations now has some printing space. So you can always go to there. And you get $35 a semester in your printing allowance. Yes. Um, so that really does cover a lot of what you need to print. So yes. you don't have to pay anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if you loft the bed to height, will the drawer set fit under? It will. We're right at about an hour. So I'm going to have to stop here pretty, pretty soon. It'll take a couple more. Patience, well named. Here we go. How much smaller is a single pod room than a um, than a semi suite? And I mean, really, the difference is you don't have the bathroom. That's the main difference. Um, what those dimensions are, and we do have floor plans posted at housing.uart.edu under the Adohi Hall page. Um, okay. Jerry's saying uh, the housing page has them listed as twin, not twin XL. Can you please confirm? We will get that confirmed for you um, as to what the size is exactly. Okay, and Matt, will, there, will they be ready to move in this weekend? They will be ready to move in. Um, on the 9th is when housing takes control of the building. So yeah, uh, they will be. Kim Jones, thank you, oh, our pleasure. We're glad we're able to answer as many questions as we can. Um, Rochelle, about the shower head. If you go back and you view, you can see where we've looked at that shower head a few times. Um, Lauren asked, are there semi-suites on the fifth floor? And yes, there are. They're on another wing of this same building. Um, Christine asked, are there individual bins or lockers in the pod shower area? Um, 
I can't remember. Yeah. Do you happen to remember? No, okay. Um, our pleasure, Kimberly. Tradon, yeah, he's, he's helping answer two questions too. Uh, is there a sink in the pod room? There is not. There is not uh, plumbing in this particular room. Um, what size TV can you bring? Any size you want. I mean, it's really up to you as to what size you necessarily bring. Um, okay. All right. Now, I know there's a lot of questions here, and I'm trying to get down to them. We are going to do our best to come back and answer these questions. Um, we kind of need to sign off, just because we meant to do it about an hour. Um, I apologize, and we will get back with you as best we can to answer more of these questions offline or after we finished our presentation. Let me take just a few more here towards the bottom because y'all were so patient. Uh, Emily asks, is the little nook by the closet big enough for the mini fridge? This right here. Do you mind giving them the dimension in sure. this direction so they can figure out if they can? Across is one foot 11 inches. One foot 11 inches, and okay. I can measure that, but... That yeah, go ahead and give them well. that one too, please. As well, I think. And that is three feet, eight inches tall. Three feet, eight inches tall. Um, Sherry asked him what floor the kitchen's on, and they're every other floor, and we'll get greater, greater clarification for you on that. Uh, one more question. Let's see. Can we view the outdoor space between the buildings, asked Jenna. I think we can probably get a view on the outdoor space. Let's, let's, let's finish out with an outdoor view right here. Can we see out there? Yeah, yeah, we can. Okay. All right, so we're looking now towards uh, the south, correct? Yeah. So there's that building right there. And this is the area that's going to eventually become quite a presentation area right there. Okay. Well, Cole, Cole, you've got some incoming folks who've been watching. Do you have any uh, things you want to say to them before they arrive? Just looking forward to me, uh, meeting you all, and uh, we'll have a smooth move-in process. Absolutely. Yeah. Great. You mind signing us off? Yeah. Um, thanks for watching today. It was fun being your student tour guide. And I think you guys will really like this hall. I would have liked it when I was a freshman. So, bye.